Hello everyone, welcome to a painting tutorial by Static Grass Creations. My name is Jason and today I will be painting a Chosen, a model from Kingdom Death. The majority of my paints are from Games Workshop and a few are P3 paints from Privateer Press. I will be using an airbrush today as well as techniques from a paintbrush such as blending, highlighting, and layering. The Chosen is a very detailed model from Kingdom Death. I will actually be using him as a harbinger of Menoth for my protectorate of Menoth army. I keep the wings and robes separate from the rest of the model for ease of painting. I do not want to block the flow of the airbrush, so I put the model on a pedestal to hold on to as I use the airbrush. I will be using the airbrush for painting the skin and the wings. This will be my first time using an airbrush for a significant portion of the model, without using a paintbrush to fix it too much. I start off with base coating the skin in Games Workshop's Caddy and Flesh Tone. I do this coating over several different layers, waiting for each to dry before starting the next. Next, I have a 1 to 1 mix of Doom Bowl Brown and Caddy and Flesh Tone to use as shading. I tilt the model away from me so the flow from the airbrush will hit the underside of the Chosen, creating shading for the skin. Kizza Flesh is used as the highlight for the skin. It is done the same way as the shading, except the model faces towards me. Now onto the wings. Baneblade Brown is used as the base coat. Rhinox Hide is watered down more than previous coats and used as shading for the wings. This is done similar to the skin shading with the top of the wing facing away. P3's Menoth White Base is used to highlight the wings. The top of the wings face towards me. Menoth White Highlight is used as the final highlight to the wings. Short bursts of air are used to ensure the coverage is where I want it to be. Now, on to using the paintbrush. Games Workshop's Lestra Grey is used to paint the robe. Once dry, Mechanica's Standard Grey is used for shading the robes. Fenrisian Grey is then used as a highlight for the robe.
As a final highlight, a thin coat of white scar is painted on the rope. Gena's gold is used to base coat the bracers, the chalice, the robe clip, and the belt sigil. Lead Belcher is then used to paint the chalice chains and the bracers. Cantar Blue is used to base coat the smoke from the chalice. Biotan Green is watered down and applied to all the gold areas. Over the silver areas, Nulin Oil is applied. Reichlan Flesh Shade is watered down and applied over the gold areas. Runox Hide is used to paint the hair and then is used to shade the gold. Abaddon Black is used to darken the gold further. A highlight of Runefang Steel is used on all metallics. Returning to Abaddon Black, the belt is painted and the silver of the bracers are shaded.
The hair is highlighted using Baylor Brown. The hair is further highlighted using Flash Gets Yellow. A final highlight to the hair is added using P3's Menoth White Base. Games Workshop's Kizilev Flesh is used to highlight the face, fixing the paint from the airbrush. A final highlight with a 1 to 1 mix of white scar and kizzle of flesh is used to increase the highlights of the upper body muscles and the face to help bring the focus to that area of the model. The eyes are done using white scar and then Abaddon black. A thin coat of Doombull Brown is used to enhance the shading of the body and go over any areas missed by the airbrush. Keldor Sky is thinned and applied in a reverse highlight on the smoke from the chalice. With further highlights, this will become a glow effect. A 1 to 1 mix of Lothar and Blue and Keldor Sky is applied in thinner successions.
A reverse highlight of pure Lothurn blue is applied to the smoke. And that concludes part 1 of the Kingdom Death Chosen Painted tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I like using the airbrush and I love the soft gradient effect it gives to the work. I look forward to gaining more experience with this tool. If you like what you have seen, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more.